Hi everyone, it's Rachel here and I am back with the 100 day project and we are doing day day 65, can you believe it? And this um, request was treasure books baggies. If I could do my take on treasure book, um, so Natasha from treasure books baggies and um, now I'm not sure of the person's name. I've got their YouTube name here. Let me just find it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Surura Ruha 3226. So that is today's baggies. So I've got, um, so I watched Natasha's video this morning. Hi Natasha. And, um, I've got a variety of papers here I can use. I've got some masking paper. This was sent to me, so I didn't I can't buy it here initially. It was sent to me from Michelle. Um, I've got it in green and brown. I also got this. I bought this. Look how big it is. Um, on Amazon. Um, I think I saw Sharon Hearth use it in one of her journals, and she told me to have a look on Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was you, Sharon. Um, that mentioned that to me and I've got this nice roll and it's it's um it's um parchment paper so it's obviously for baking but I'm not going to use it for baking because I like the color the color is really nice look at it it's a bit shiny but I think that'll make a really nice baggy um I did if <laughs> you want to laugh I bought one <laughs> this was the first one I bought it's tiny isn't it cute though <laughs> so then I was like, oh, I didn't want it that small because, of course, I never, I don't read. Actually, this might be a good one to use for this project. Aha, uh -huh. I might use this one and not the big one. How about that? Because I was going to put this in as pages in, in journals and things. So we'll put that one aside. It's very long. I'll tell you the measurements. The measurements are um, 40 by 15 or 16 inches by 49 feet. That would be the, the length. So I'll put that on the ground. I might use this little mini one. This is cute. This one is um, four inches the width and 10 centimeters. If I can ever get it out. Oh, and it will do the little teeth like bags, you know. But I can't. Maybe I'm not supposed to get it out. Maybe I'm supposed to just pull this. Oh, come on, ding dong. What is wrong with you? I'm really, I'm really struggling, guys. Are you just crying laughing? I bet you are. Okay, I got that off. Now what am I going to do? I can't get the paper out. That should be rolling. Paper, you're not, you're not being very nice to me. Oh, I see. I push those things in. And somehow, I know. What about if I pull that? I don't want to rip it. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah, but it, it's in the wrong way. It's meant to be in the other way. So these are little pieces. So I'm sure you didn't come here to... Oh, my ruler's in the other room. Well, I'll use my wiggly ruler today. I'm just going to push that back down. And push that one back down and see if I can get it out and put it in the other way. I'd like it in the other way. Oh, now it's sliding a bit better. No, but I can't be... I don't understand why it won't come out. Oh, got it. Okay, I'm going to put it in that way. I think that'll be better. So I can do a baggie with this. So I'm just going to pull an amount off. Now, there's no measurements. Oh, look, it doesn't roll. Okay, I'll just rip it off like that. Right. Okay, so, well, all Natasha did, oh, no, that's not going to work because she did them around the other. Well, it will work, because I, but I have to glue down the side, so I won't use that. Okay, we're going to use this. So I have, I'm going to think a little bit about my height. Oh, why don't I measure it on my table? So now let me think about this so if it goes that way. Oh, if I go this way. So this is how Natasha measured hers, more or less like that. 
So I'm doing my width. And I'm going to rip it. I don't want to rip it with this one on the sides. So we'll make a series of bags and then we'll decorate them. Okay. So then um, I'm going to line it up here. And I think I'll tear it about there. Some of them will be bigger bags and some of them will be smaller bags. Oops, it moved. Do we care? Okay, so just kind of find the middle. That's what Natasha did. She vaguely found the middle. I'm not, and I'm going to line it up at the bottom, actually. So that this is a little bag. I probably could make them a little bit wider. It's all a bit of trial and error at the first ones, isn't it? Um, well, it is with me. Maybe not with you guys, because you like you might be better at measuring things than I am. Put some glue on there. Now that to me is just going to attach down on a journal. And then Natasha folded them up here. Anyway, of course I'll link her video. And then she snipped them at an angle more or less similar. And then she folded this one back. So where you have your join um, and just trimmed that one off. So when you close your bag, you don't have to glue down two. You just glue down one. So that's what we do. I mean, it's super fast. Hi. Yes, Lily. Excuse me, what you have to use. I know why those pants didn't arrive because you ordered them separately to do the things that you ordered. Oh, good job. Why aren't they dinglings? They could have sent it in one parcel. Oh, no. oh, no. Okay, and then she and then she just sort of rips them off at the top. Just rips it off. See, now you've got your bag. I'll keep that for collaging. Nothing will go to waste. So there's my little pocket. And that can stick down. How cute is that? So I'll make another one like that. Although they, I will have two smaller ones. So I'm just going to go like this here. And then just fold that one over a bit. I, I mean, I'm not too worried about if my seam is not in the centre. I'll put the straight edge on the outside. I, I don't even know if I even said hello to you guys. Hello. I hope everybody is well. I just sort of got right into it. I've actually been looking forward to doing this because I thought Natasha's idea was fabulous. So that's my straight one. So we'll fold up that one. There. Trim. So thank you for pointing that video out to me. Such an easy way of making bags, honestly. Who would ever buy a bag ever again? Well, I would. But um, it is a very nice, easy way of making bags. Good way to use up lots of different bits of fab uh, fabric paper too. I've got fabric on the brain. Okay, and this one I'm going to try and tear. I might even just tear it with this. And I'm going to tear it so it's a little bit deeper. So we've got different, different size. There we go. So that's a slightly different size. I'm not going to give you any measurements because we're just eyeballing it today. Right, and then we'll do one with this paper. So this one's shiny on one side, so I'm going to put the shiny side inside. And this one, I might just tear it about here. I don't it's not I don't even know if it's straight. Just tear it. And I'm using my Arteza ruler there. And I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to have a slightly wider bag, I think. I will have to tear some off. Tear it down. Making sure I've got my, um, my shiny side in. I'm going to tear maybe a bit more there, maybe. I'll keep that for collaging. Don't need to worry about, you only need to worry if only one side has um, it straight because um, we're going to rip that bit off. I did enjoy that part of it. 
ripping the ripping that off and we'll you we'll keep the torn side on the outside we like that put my glue there so the fold is about a centimeter which would be is that a quarter of an inch i think so um you know the the seam there so i sort of eyeball how much glue to put down you don't want to put go too far into there because then it will you'll glue your bag shut is my bag shut glued shut yes it is there you go as we speak i glued my bag shut so maybe you could put it on the other one right scissors So you can see how fast they are. You can just make up. It's a bit like Tina's mass making, isn't it? You can just mass make a whole lot. Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Just mass make a whole lot of these and and then and then you can just have them there ready to go to decorate. And um, Natasha decorated hers with clusters. So we might do that, but we might do a couple with clusters and we might do a couple with something else. And then again, I'm going to use my Jaggedy Ruler. This is by um, Joy Crafts, and I got it on Amazon. Okay, good. Okay, and then the other type of paper, I'll just put those down on the floor. I'm not doing one with the parchment paper. Be well, you see why? Well, I can actually. I just have to um, stick down my edges. Or I could have, see, so well, I might make a teeny tiny one. How about that? Let's make a little one. I'm going to be collaging on it anyway. I don't know how well this is. I don't actually know how well this is going to stick, this one. Oh, slippery business. It is a slippery business, I can tell you that. Put that there. Put that off there certainly going to be very nice oops it's very slippery stuff oh the hoodlum is in the house <laughs> lily's bought these big chunky silver chains and she's bought um an oversized tie-dye lilac and blue t-shirt <laughs> she's got the big chunky chains on <laughs> Oh, I think it's very funny. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you What are you doing about your swag? Oh, she feels swag. What does feeling swag mean? Like you want to swing your hips? Is that what it means? No, it's like I'm being chill. Oh, God, she's chill. <laughs> oh my gosh, crack me up. <laughs> You swaggy, chill person. <laughs> My wordy lordy have times changed, I sound like, when I was little, listening to, you know, grandparents saying, oh, haven't, haven't times changed? Changed. Well, they have from the 80s and the 90s. Now we're feeling swag, which I guess is hip and happening. Is that what it is? Hip and happening. There we go. We've got a cute little bag there. Okay, so we did do one with that little skinny parchment. Okay, and then I thought the other things I could use. I've got that many papers printed out, don't I, guys? That many papers. So I'm thinking, why don't I make a bag out of this nice paper here? Oh, well, Lulu was using that, but she's, she seems to have... Abandoned that project. So I'm just going to. So this again will be a little one. I might tear it with this. Kind of like the wobbly effect for these. And here. 
Oh, I think I forgot to delete yesterday's videos. I hope I don't run out of space. Oh dear. So I don't have much leeway with this one because it's already small. But I'm going to fold it there and I'll just tear off the excess. I'm thinking, what is she doing? Let me just put it here. My very bodgy system of measuring. measuring. Put it there and I know I have to go on that line to rip it off. And we will glue, I'll put the glue on the, the bottom piece. And then I'm just going to do a very little fold up here to not take away too much of the height off my bag. Okay, and then we'll glue that down. So you can see how fast these are. Very fast. Very, very, very fast. Oh, isn't that pretty? What else do we have? What else? I don't think I want to do another purple one. Let's see what I've got down here. Ooh. Let's do one with this graphics fairy paper. I'll do one with this graphics fairy paper. That's what I want to do. I thought this ruler would be nice too for your fold up. I didn't do it there, but for your fold up to have the nice jagged edge too, like bags do have that jagged sort of tooth. Now let me think about this. Do I want to get two out of this one? Like oh, yes, I do. I won't worry about that. Let me just put this here. Because I do have crooked eyes, as we know. And... I won't worry about that straight edge, because that can be the edge that glues under. Like so. So you won't even be able to see it. see some mass making coming on with this good way to use up those pieces that you have from leftover projects and to make things that coordinate into the project I mean look how pretty that is this, so as I said this is just from the graphics for every I don't know if it's in the regular or the premium um, graphics fairy so um, you'll just have to have a look for it so you can see there I don't know if you can see there the little jagged effect I'm not even checking where the middle is it doesn't matter because I'm thinking I'll probably attach these down onto a onto a journal page so it doesn't really matter to me um, how the back is so that's that and which one I have at the top that so fold this up so this is a slightly deeper one
Okay, I don't think I want, will I tear that one down a bit? No, I think I'll keep it like that. It can be a nice tall pocket. Okay, so we've got, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven I've made in no a matter of minutes of little bags. So that's fabulous. Um, Natasha, just great, great technique. So we're going to use some, let me just grab my little thing. I'm just concerned because I, as I mentioned, I did not delete yesterday's, I don't think so. My phone might fill up. Just chucking down some fabrics here. We'll do some clusters. We need some old book page. Do I have any old book page floating around here? No, just glue books. Um, oh, look, I've got these bits left over from yesterday. I haven't put anything away from yesterday. Very bad. That's not what I want to use. I think I've got some in here. I might have some other page in here. We'll keep this out too. This is useful. I thought I had some old book page in here. I cannot see it. some what have I got going on in this I've got little folders everywhere this is a nice color anyway it's the purple yellowy sort of color so we'll put that down just do a bit of tearing oh isn't that pretty tearing and we'll have I need to make some more scrappy trim too beautiful piece of lace there and then, oh, good luck getting in there, Rachel. What's all of this stuff? Oh, pages. Oh, my goodness, so much stuff out. Oh, so many things left over from the other days that I haven't finished. Look, I haven't stitched that yet. Um, flowers and, oh, here, look, these little butterflies are cute. Let's cut one of those out. I know they're quite pale, but I might like that. I don't know if I want a contrast or pale. And the other thing I must... So first of all, I'm going to thank you, Natasha, for um, these wonderful baggies because it's a really nice, fast way of making bags. You're a clever one. And the other thing I have to thank Natasha for, and I know I've been speaking about it, but it's really helped me, is her method of having a list for each day it's really keeping me on track i don't necessarily get every single thing done because as i've mentioned i'm very ambitious um oh i think that's pretty um so that will go on there i'm just going to glue it on um yeah but it's really keeping me on track and i'm feeling less anxious about what i have to get done because it's slowly but surely going to be done because it stays on the list until it's done and so eventually I get sick of rewriting something and I make myself do it because there are those things that you just sort of put off but it's also I've been just writing little um, tasks in the home like I, I got rid of some books that I you know like just reading books and stuff that have been read and don't really need to keep them I probably could have reused the paper but I, I think I've got plenty of paper don't think I need any more paper. Um, so, yeah, I just write these little tasks. And if I don't get them done one day, then I'll get them done the next day. So it's really great. And um, and it is working for me because it's, it's, it's being organized, but it's loose organization. So if I really don't feel like doing it, I won't. But I really do enjoy crossing it off the list. So that encourages me to do things. So I feel a sense of achievement if I cross something off my list. There you go. Okay. Stick my little butter. Oh, isn't that pretty? I like that. I do like that. Got the purple kit out. There we go. 
and there's a little bag he done and that's just going to stick into a journal good one so we've got a green one here so we may put this is some of those samplers left over i've got that i've got some green recycled grid paper i could use let's see what that looks like we'll just lay it on top and see quite like that one um so i'm not doing necessarily all little sort of clustery things i just do a little bit of some you know some sort of collaging i quite like that And the other thing about having a list too is it's not doesn't allow me to forget anything because it just keeps being written to the next day um, and then I, I, I'm not allowed to I don't forget it because it's I haven't put anything away here look at this still have the ladies having their picnic lovely looking ladies oh the galahs would be nice on this baggie hmm oh yes I think I'm gonna I might fussy tear around them not this sorry they're not galahs these are pink cockatoos silly me I never saw a pink cockatoo. Has anybody ever seen a pink cockatoo? You're so lucky. I never saw one. I've only ever seen the uh, black cockatoos and I've seen um, the regular white and yellow ones. Yes, that's what's going to go there. I might just flip that around so I have the crooked edge showing. No need. This, so I've gone right off. I haven't even, that's not a um, little cluster. That's just a full on collage. Gone right off on the tangent. I was thinking I was going to do... No, I wasn't going to do all little um, clusters, but anyway. You just go with the flow, really. Oh, they're two grid papers. I just noticed that. I would normally not do something like that. I would not put two grid papers together, but because the, um, the one on top has the tea dyed pattern on it I guess it's okay it's, it can be forgiven and there's my cute little cockies blue can I see I can't even see the pattern on it anyway what a goose do like that do I need a Tracy label I know what Sherry will say no you do not dear sweet Sherry I like tormenting you notes lists talking about lists no i won't put lists on there ideas let's put ideas on there no i don't like the color the color's not right thoughts these are from tracy's um planner kit no not thoughts it's not that type so we might need one of these little ones oh i've got one already cut out i'm thinking brown no, maybe I don't need one. I always need one. Yes, I think I'll put that green one on. I did find one, Sherry. You may have noticed I did find one. So I officially love Natasha's baggies. There you go. There you have it. I'll be making more of those. Just concentrating on my snipping. My snip, snip, snipping. Okay. Right. Make sure I put it up the right. Will I put it there or there? There. 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 I'll put it up there. I'll just decide and put it up there. I won't torment you all. Okay, now we've got a brown bag. What will we do on the brown bag? Well, no. Well, I was thinking I could do a bit of stamping. All my stuff's in front of the stamping. So I don't think I'll do any stamping because I, I don't want to move it all. I just don't. It's going to be too much. Oh, look at that kookaburra. I love kookaburras. Oh dear, that was very bad tearing. Very bad. 
that there. Might need a bigger piece of book page than that. I don't, I don't understand why I can't find any book pages. I think it's because I'm in a mess. That could be one of the reasons, is that I'm in a mess, that I can't find any book page anywhere. Got map. Oh, I might have a bit of William Morris paper there. That could be nice. Oh, wouldn't a baggie be nice made out of that? I have to go and print some more. Why am I putting my rubbish over there? Put it over there. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I could have a little piece of this there. Maybe I will do a little bit of a clustery sort of thing on here. A blustery clustery. Madam's gone silent in there. What are you up to, Lulu? Making YouTube. I thought you were doing something. Yeah, Sorry? Yeah, well, that didn't take you five seconds. Well, I didn't you took my, my notebook and you're not going to do it? I can't get her to do anything creative, nothing. She's gone into a meltdown since school stopped. Uh-oh. I thought you were coming here to tell me off. <laughs> okay. Right. And what would I like to put there? Well, that would be very nice. A bit of bottle brush. There's the glass. There's the glass. Okay, I'll put those over there with the other ones. Oh, I think I might use this flower here. I'm going to tear around it. I'll put that there. Well, I thought I would. No, that's not it. Okay. After all of that. Just looking for a piece of lace already cut, but I don't think I've got one. Got this one. I like that more. So this is the um, masking paper one. Just stick that down. butterfly that's too big maybe this one. Oh yes that's it oh nice colors okay I'm 
nibble down one, two. I'm in such a mess. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, I really do like those. Okay, next. I'll put those there so I don't lose them in my mess. I've got this one here. Throw that out. Oh, I can't throw it out. I've got stuff on my garbage bin. Ha ha ha. Oh, dear me. Why don't we... Oh, there's a little bit of embroidered bit on there. That down. That down. That down. And let's have a look in here. Ooh. Oh, I quite like that. Maybe take that out. Oh, I like that in there. Okay. First, let's glue this down. Then the fabric, so I need to use what's left of this glue. that at a different level and then we'll glue the flower down and that flower has been floating around quite a while looking for a new home and now it's found one Oh, I like that. Okay, good. Next, I've got two more. Let's get them done. Let's do them. This is pretty. Maybe. That's cardstock. Put that over there. I could have I like that one more. No, I think I'll, I'll start all over again. I don't think I want that. Oh, on the green, I do like the purple. We'll just do some whizzy, fuss, fussy cutting, very whizzy.
So quite a lot of you asked me about my little garbage basket here. I made that. It was like my um, first gift idea for Christmas. Anyway, at the end of the video, um, there'll be a little window that pops up with that, with the link to that if you want to see how to make them. Oh, am I recording? Oh, yes, I am. Lucky. I'm going to put that over there. Oh, yes, I like that. That's, see, I'm glad I changed my mind. Let's see how this one looks. No, without. Don't mind that there. Okay, put that there. And I was thinking I might like one of these little fellows. Okay. No. No, that's not what I want. Sorry, guys. That is not what I want. I want... Something like that. Yep, that's it. Got it. Okay, one more bag to do. Where is it? Here it is in my mess. And this one we might go back and do a cluster. This here. Do you have some of this? Oh, here's one. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's a heart. I won't use that. Don't cut up the heart. Put that there. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. Um, I don't think I want to go beige. I might like this. The other thing I've got here are these. Now maybe I might like something like this. Just a minute. Need to stamp some more. Oh, I might put that down there and do my cluster up there. Would that work? quite like that and I do my little cluster up here and I was thinking what was I thinking I like that 
some more. Where did the, oh, here it is. I wonder if there's anything here. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. beautiful old piece of fabric oh yeah I think I'm just going to stick that down there we go that's it or no the nine okay I really do need to tidy my mess up. Okay, so here... I actually don't have any needles in here. I've taken them all in the other room. Goodness knows why. I want to just put that there. So I'll have to glue it. There's not much there. Let's grab another glue. What you giggling about? Ah. Okay, just take it off in the order that it's to go. Okay, so that one's going there. Then I need to put lots of glue here. For that. One like that. Oops. This is why I don't like them falling down. They get stick to everything when you're in a mess. And then I'll just see if I can put the glue on this. Oh, really been smushing it. On there. And I'll just put that like that. There you go. That's how it went down. Okay. Let's see what's... Oh, just came off there. Okay. So there we have it. That is my... I could stick a butterfly, but I really don't want to cut one out. I didn't like the green one, but I could cut one of those out and stick one of those on. But I don't think I will. We've got one. Okay. So I'll show you what I've done. So this is the last one. We've got, this is a graphics fairy um, paper. So that will just stick down on a page and it'll be a nice pocket. Or it can just be a bag clipped in, whatever you like. Uh, and then there's this one here with the masking paper, green. And we did the purple one. I love that one with a little cluster. So I did a couple with clusters. Here's another little cluster. And this bag would have been nice stamped, but as I mentioned, I can't get to my stamps at the moment, but I can always go and stamp it afterwards. Um, we have the pink cockies on this one here, and then another little cluster here with a flower stuck on it, and that could have some stamping as well. So there you are. So that is my take on the lovely Natasha from Treasure Books uh, baggies. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I will thank you for your suggestions and I hope you're having a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.